and talk some real cash shit Been in my bag, bitch, I'm doing real fine I'm doing better than all of my ops I pop shit on the gram and in real life Talk that talk, I'ma walk that walk I only speak facts None of these bitches is seeing me and that's just That I don't that Stay down ten toes, I'm a real bitch I don't play around What to do, YouTube? What's your name? Sugar Vivi, and I'm back here another day, another dollar. You feel me? And today's video is pretty serious. Your girl's going to the hospital. Um, if you was on my live two days ago, um, it was me, my aunt, and my cousin sitting right here. And you know, we'll play fight, whatever. And I type hurt myself really bad, my foot. And so, um, I'm pretty worried about it. It's swollen really badly i can't move my big toe i can't point my toe i can't point my foot and as a dancer you know if you can't point your foot you know something's really wrong so i'm a little really worried about it um what's the reason why i really am worried is because when i was in sixth grade i believe it was six yeah was it six i think it was Sixth grade. When I was in sixth grade, I believe it was six. No, when I was in fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade, um, I had a car accident. Um, I don't think I ever spoke about this on my YouTube. I had a car accident where um, I was walking. I got off the school bus from um, school and instead of going in school i actually i go to, to the store i was allowed to go to the store and i um i was walking across the street and a car it was a one way in a car like sped or whatever it has sped up to me speed up to me whatever and the two tires you know it's four tires the two tires on this side as i was crossing ran over both of my feet um I don't want to say I was paralyzed because I wasn't, but I was in a wheelchair. I had therapy. I had to do acupuncture. Um, I couldn't walk for months. It was very hard for me. Very, very hard to move. I couldn't dance. And I thought it was going to be the end of my world. So right now, I'm a little emotional. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little emotional. I'm a little worried. Um, I know I'm a fighter, so I know I'm going to be all right. But I'm a little worried about my feet or whatever. Because one thing I promised myself after that was that I would try my best not to hurt my feet. As a dancer, you know, I try my best to always make sure that my feet is my number one priority of being good. You know, my health always comes first, but my feet is my second. And I try my best to always, you know, keep my feet good. Oh, excuse me, I'll be yawning because I, I couldn't sleep really last night. I was up. So like four this morning and I woke up at six or whatever because I'm going to the hospital. It's after nine. It's about to be ten o'clock. It's nine forty nine. I'm gonna go to the hospital to get it checked out. I'm pretty nervous to get it checked out because like like I said before, when it, when it got hurt, it was really bad and you know the worst thing the scariest thing as a dancer is that, you know, you'll never be able to dance again, you know, once you hurt your feet. Is very thing like once I hurt my feet with that I was in a wheelchair like I said I was taking therapy for months and um, when I finally was able to walk again I pushed myself and the first thing I did was try to gain my strength back when it came to my feet so I went into chair reading to gain back um, my strength and with chair reading I had to do track so I had to be able to move fast on my feet um, I did breast cancer walks, charity events. I did dance. I wasn't allowed to compete, but I was still a part of the team. I performed at games. Um, yeah, I was pretty, um, I was on the move when it came to, and I did tumbling, which is gymnastics. I was on the move when it came to getting back off of it. I was pretty strong back then. I'm still strong now. The only thing that's really missing when it came to my feet is my mom was really my support system when it came to my feet. So I'm a little worried right now about my feet. About my foot, I should say. 
I'm starting to tear up. I'm a little worried about my foot because my mom was there to take care of me when it came to last time with my feet being troubled and now my foot looks really bad. It's really swollen and I don't have her. So, I mean, I have my grandma dad. I'm so grateful. So I don't have my mom with that. My mom knew all my troubles when it came to my feet and my heart and stuff like that. So it gets me a little emotional, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm just a little worried about my foot. It's my big toe. And um, it's like, it looks really bad. I'm inserted a picture yesterday, how it looked. I'm insert some pictures so you guys can see. Um, it looked pretty, pretty bad. It looked really, really swollen. The swelling went down a little bit, but you can still tell that it's pretty, pretty, pretty swollen badly. And you can see, like, you can see the way it looks. It looks really black. And for the fact that I can't point my toe is what really worries me. You know, if I can point my toe and stuff without it, like, being so, without it hurting me so much, I think I might just put some ice on it and wrap it up myself. And, you know, I'll go about my day. And I'll just ease off of it a little bit. But for the fact that I can't put my toe and like just walking on it hurts, just moving it, just twisting it hurts. It's just like, I think I need to get it checked out. Like I said before, I'm really sure right now, I'm trying to be sure, but I'm a little emotional and I'm worried about it because of my car accident. And the one person that was, you know, there with me physically, mentally, emotionally through it all, is not with me so you know when they ask me certain questions and stuff i probably won't know the answer because i was pretty young but just a little worried right now so if i'm not posting sorry guys if i'm not posting daily um this is the reason why it's because i'm focused on my foot right now so i hope that you guys understand that but yeah today i'm gonna take you guys with me to the hospital so we can see what they're gonna say. I want you guys to feel me throughout this journey. I love you guys' support. So I decided to take you guys with me. So yeah, I'm not even finna say like this video and all of that. You guys do do that yourself, y'all. If y'all want to, this is actually a serious matter. It's not for entertainment or for views. I just can really use you guys' support. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. But I wanted to come tell you guys First was going on before I left my house, privately, you know, without everybody, you know, seeing me emotional or seeing me get worried and stuff. Cause I, I gotta be strong when I leave here, you feel me? I gotta, I can't think like that. I gotta be like, it's good, you know? So I'm gonna put on my slippers that my boyfriend got me because I can't put my foot in those sneakers. And putting my foot in these, in my pink nation slide, just type hard to get my foot into. It's really, really tight. So I'm gonna put my foot in them Ugg slippers, which is tight, but it's not as tight. So yeah, I'm finna get my shoes on and um, just stay tuned. Let's go to the hospital, you guys. I'ma see you guys when I get to the hospital or when I'm in a car, I gotta see if my grandparents are ready to go. So I'll be back. I just pulled up to the hospital. I can't walk fast. I, people probably think I'm pregnant or something the way I'm walking. Like, I can't walk fast at all. So, I'm taking my food last time. Because I can't walk fast. You walk me. Like, I can't walk fast at all. This shit hurts. Like, God. Like, so. I'm, I'm working in the hospital still, so I cannot work fast at all. Um, I don't know if they're gonna give me a wheelchair or what, considering that I cannot walk properly. But I can't make it to that, so I'm gonna just wait and get the next one. On the corner, I said to you. Oh my god, bro. They already get starting off to a bad start. Right. Like, she 
basically you guys I'm waiting for the doctor and the nurse and my friend <laughs> they be dead asking for you hmm? they be asking for you they be like where's your grandma dad they be in the comments just asking they, they took me in a wheelchair and I'm in a, in a waiting room this is the waiting room right I'm ready to see waiting room no there's not there's the the room where the doctor come in to see you, the bed, you're in the, in the emergency room. Oh, yeah, I'm in the bed. That's how I said, the emergency room. Like, yeah. waiting for the doctor. This is, like, so hard, like, to keep this damn mask on. You gotta keep the damn mask on. To breathe and stuff. It's just like, oh, my God. And it's not even, if you say anybody here, there's nobody here. There's nobody here. Like, it's so empty. There's one person next to us, I think, and then everyone else is empty. There's no doctor sitting here, no nothing. Like, they probably got everybody out by the morning. All the, all, nobody. Nobody's here. Nobody wants to be in a damn hospital with a damn virus. Like, <laughs> there's nobody. One person should be here because I've seen her. Uh, yes, right there. Just saying there. Yeah, right there. There's somebody there? Mm hmm. Okay. Nobody else. But that's the IV. Hey, I ain't getting no damn IV, you know. We need IV for it's your foot. They be always wanting to check you. Yeah, because they don't know what's going on. Yeah, 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 they don't know what's going on. I gotta be protective of my right in hand. I do everything with this hand. I'm just happy it's not like, you know, the thing. It's, it's the body. This foot is not moving yet. Like, like, this foot is not moving. Wait, 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 X-ray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't like hospitals. Like I don't like them. They just so like I don't like going. So every time I go, I'm sick. I'm the one that's sick. I don't like going. X-ray. It's funny how you said they had a little x-ray machine too. So yeah. So they don't think it's that bad. That's what she said. She don't think it's that bad. She said she don't think it's that bad. The, the doctor. She said she don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I might just get a boot. Which I'm fine with. I'll... I would take the boot over a cast any day. Cause at least I can still walk around. This shit still hurt, y'all. Still, still, still hurt. Look at mm -hmm. I said it still hurt. So, you guys, it's about to be one. It's one o'clock right now. And um, we did the x-ray and all that. I'm getting, I'm going home. Um, it's not broken. It's not fractured. But the muscle is hurt pretty bad. So, I have to keep it wrapped and elevated and ice it. Um, they took so medication for pain. But, um... Yeah, right now it's wrapped. I, it hurts to walk on it still. So the muscle was hurt pretty, pretty badly. She said, and okay, so I'm not gonna be able to point my foot or dance for a little bit, which I'm pretty like thing about because Lord of mercy, I'm a dancer and I have so much dance stuff coming up. Cause I haven't been dancing in a while. But anyway, yeah, um, I think I'm just end this video off here. So, thank you guys for coming with this journey.
stay tuned for my other vlogs and stuff. And um, yeah, just wish me all y'all prayers in the comments, please. I'm gonna need it. Because muscle damage with dancing is not good. The strength coming back from it is very bad. It's very hard and challenging. So, later again, I'm out. Fuck, I look like going back and forth with a little bitch that is not on my level. I do not give a fuck, tell a bitch, try to look sugar folded like a pencil.